You football player, just kick the ball. That's right. In this direction. Okay. 20 meters per second velocity. In this direction. Just like that. Then step number one. So you must find out X component and Y component. For that, you're going to make that right triangle just like this. Then, oh, look at this one. So I'm talking about speed, okay, not the distance, okay. So speed-wise, okay, it's an X component velocity. This was the initial velocity. This one, so we're talking about speed this way is V. I'm going to say X equals cosine that angle right there. Okay, so I'm going to use a theta. Okay, then times okay that original velocity okay which is a v0 okay this time i'm gonna use okay 30 degrees that's it okay then this one like i said okay cosine 30 then times that velocity right okay velocity was 20 so then this one is a cosine 30 that's it what about the vertical velocity which is right here okay so this one oh that's right so, so opposite of this angle that's why we're talking about sine right okay so 20 sine that angle that's it so we have new speed right there so actual speed for this one sine 30 means a half half over 20 which is 10 meters per second see so upward what about the sideway like this one oh that's right cosine 30 square root 3 over 2 so uh 20 divided by 2 is 10 Okay, this one is a 10 times square root 3. Square root 3 is 1.7321. So 17.321. That's it. Meters per second. Very interesting, right? So from this information, okay, so we can find out so many uh, things, right? Okay, so this one, so we call vertex. That's right. So even we can find out the vertex coordinates. Then uh, we can find out this curve that's right must be parabola right parabola means like this kind of shape so a then x minus maybe i can use k okay doesn't matter actually then h okay step number one so we can find out the time first right which is like oh that's right so we gotta use this one okay so final velocity is initial velocity okay plus AT. In this case, we're going to use GT, right? So gravitational acceleration, which is T right there. So we know G, or uh, initial velocity, that's right. That was, uh, uh, actually, we're going up and down. Okay, so we're going to use 10 right here. Okay, not 20. Okay, then uh, that was the initial velocity. Also, final velocity is going to be zero, right? Right there. Also, uh, we have to understand this one. Okay, going up, okay, time for going to this top, okay, and from the top all the way to the bottom right here, exactly the same time we take, okay. So that means this final velocity right here, all the way up there, obviously zero, right? So zero uh, velocity, zero meters per second, but all the way down, the same speed right here. Okay, this was what? 10, right there. That was initial velocity. Also, final velocity on, uh, on the ground, exactly the same. See, 10 right there. So you can use either one, okay, up or down. Okay, so, hey, I usually like down better because, okay, so final velocity is 10 right here. Oh, 10. Okay, initial velocity, 0. Okay, that's why I don't have to worry about that one. See, this one, 9.8 because this one is a... Uh, the speed is going up and up, so I'm going to use a positive. Say I like positive better than negative. So now, a T right there. Oh, that's it. So that means, wait a minute. Okay, so T equals, okay, simply T equals 10 divided by 9.8. 9.8 is almost 10. That's why about almost one second. Oh, maybe a little more than 10, uh, one second. That's it. Now we can find out how far uh, it's gonna go. Right? Okay, very interesting. See, so now, oh, uh, definitely right here. Okay, that means also I can say this one's x. Okay, so I'm using x, y. How about that? See, just like this. 
then value oh that's it okay so uh, we know the speed we which is uh, one point uh, actually seventeen point three two one okay meters per second times one second or oh, actually one second up one second down actually two seconds oh that's right just like this so we calculate this one so almost what that's right okay 34 point or oh, little more than 34 point about six so that's okay okay meters oh that's it okay what about right in the middle that's a half of that one right which is 7.17.3 meters or oh, 17.3 so we can use that one for the vertex also i'm gonna find out maximum height which is oh that's right up to that point right which is the y value right there oh that's it that's what we're gonna find out that's right what is the vertical distance right or uh, distance which is the height uh we can use s or uh, we can use d doesn't matter okay uh let's use s that's right so you remember this formula right there so v0 t plus half g t squared that's it like I said, you can use either one, okay, it's so going up or down, so you're going to use only one. So now, oh, I like down better, okay, that's why initial speed is zero, or I can erase this one. Okay, then half, oh, that's it. Then times 9.8, okay, times t squared, which is just going down, oh, so we used one second. Oh, very easy, right? That's one right there. Okay, I uh, just ignore that uh, units, but uh, no big deal. We're going to talk about that one later anyway, okay? So, 9.8 divided by 2, half of it, so which is a 4.9, right? Okay, almost a 5, but okay, 4.9 meters. That's it. So, I'm going to plug that number right there. Oh, man, fantastic. So, 4.9. Oh, that's it. What is the next one we're going to find out? That's right. A value right here, right? Oh, this A right there. So then, oh, we know uh, vertex. This is a vertex formula right there. So now, oh, instead of Y, I can use 4.9. Oh, 4.9 equals A is still there. Now, instead of X, okay, so I can use 17 point, oh, uh, that's right, 17.3. Then minus k. Now I can plug any other number uh, than this vertex, right? Oh, 0, 0. I love 0, 0 right here. Okay, that means, oh, this is going to be 0. Okay, this is going to be 0. Oh, that's it. Now I'm going to plug 17.3 right there for this value right here, k. Or it doesn't matter K or H, so you can use either one. Uh, okay, now this one is 17.3. Now H, oh, that's right, that's a 4.9. That's it. From this, A value going to be about negative 0. Point about almost 2.8. That's it. Now all I have to do just to make it look good. Okay, so y equals what? That's right. So y equals negative 0.28. This is the formula for this curve. Okay, parabola. Okay, so then, okay, x minus, okay, 17.3, then plus 4.9. That's it. Now, at any place, I just put one, uh, maybe wall, just like this. I just put wall right here. Okay, distance wise, let's say uh, total distance to this X right there, that was 36.6. But if I give you like a 28 or whatever, okay, so let's say 28, then all you have to do is just plug 28 right there, okay? Then 28 minus 17.3, blah, 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 then you can get Y value, which is uh, this one right there, see, which is a Y. See? So that now, if we know uh, the uh, what is that uh, angle right there, then the uh, initial speed, okay, initial velocity, then we can get everything just like this one, okay, including this formula of this parabola. 
That way, if you have some kind of monster right here on the top of, let's say, some kind of building, okay? So building looks like this one, right on the top, some kind of monster, so you can kill this mon monster right there, see? So you can measure to be some kind of angle and speed and everything. Okay, fantastic.